Billionaires who Forbes track have owned all kinds of horses over the years that we've pegged values to. But when you think of horse racing today, the Kentucky Derby, the Breeders' Cup, the Belmont Stakes, all of these races are run by one kind of horse, thoroughbreds. We're taking a look at one of America's top thoroughbred breeding farms, Spendthrift Farm. Founded by renowned horse trader and farm owner Leslie Combs II and later purchased by the billionaire B. Wayne Hughes, the Kentucky Farm currently boasts horses like 2020 Kentucky Derby winner Authentic. There are many different terms for thoroughbred horses like foals, fillies, mares, weanlings, and colts. But the term you want to pay the most attention to is a stallion, which is a male horse that's often a retired racehorse. Stallions can be the most valuable assets on a horse farm, and in Spenther Farm's case, they happen to own one horse who is considered to be pretty much the hottest stallion in North America right now. His name is Into Mischief. In August of this year, B. Wayne Hughes died at the age of 87, but there are indications that Hughes transferred ownership of the farm to his daughter, Tammy Gustafson, and her husband, Eric. Tammy is a billionaire member of our Forbes 400 rankings, just like her dad was. Spendthrift declined to comment on the ownership transfer. To help us figure out how much these stallions are worth, we talked to several experts in the equine industry, including two who are called bloodstock agents. I describe myself as a stockbroker and a real estate agent for horses. That's Chad Schumer. He's the founder of Schumer Bloodstock Agency out of Louisville, Kentucky. Our primary focus is buying and selling thoroughbred racehorses and breeding stock. Along with that, uh, we do insurance on thoroughbreds and we do appraisals for banks. Uh, pretty much if it has to do with dollars, cents, and thoroughbreds, we do that. And that's Peter Bradley, the owner of Bradley Thoroughbreds based in Lexington, Kentucky. Stud fees can change over time depending on how Stallion's progeny do once their own racing careers start. In 2012, when Into Mischief was seven years old, his stud fee was a reported $7,500. That jumped to $20,000 the next year as some of his progeny began to win important races. Now, as a 16-year-old horse, Into Mischief's stud fee is up more than 11 times, drawing $225,000, which is the highest advertised stud fee in North America this year. To value a stallion, the general rule of thumb is to take its stud fee and multiply it by 300 or 400 times. That equation assumes the horse will book, that is, mate with, 100 mares per year over three to four years. But some stallions, like Into Mischief, book many more than that in a year, driving up revenue for the farm and increasing their own value in turn. So, to refine our methodology, bloodstock agent Chad Schumer suggested that we factor in the exact ages of each stallion on the roster and the number of mares they covered last year in 2020. I advised not take 100% of the number because obviously all the mares aren't gonna be pregnant. Some are gonna die, some are gonna be barren, some will not have live foals. So I think a reasonable estimate is 80 to 85% of the number of mares bred and the cover fee. And that's the income for one year. Now, a young horse, eight, nine, 10, 11 years old, he could be worth four or five years worth of income. As a horse gets older, I would, I would change that number to two or three but you're buying an asset and you're like any business you're looking for a rate of return and i think the stallions you know typically you you want to make sure a good investment in a stallion would have you out in four or five years based on this method and using the 2021 stud fee we determined that into mischief alone is worth about 135 million dollars and we estimated the other 2021 stallions combined are worth about 165 million dollars Spendthrift recently announced its 2022 stud fees and bumped into Mischief's fee up once again to $250,000. If we include the estimated values of the other horses living on Spendthrift Farm, like the mares and yearlings, which we calculate separately, we estimate that all of Spendthrift's horses are worth about $360 million. It all sounds like it's just printing gold bars, but it's not. Peter Bradley said that roughly 10 to 30 percent of all stallions that go to stud actually make it. There's a very polarized market here for the stallions, you know. It's either chicken or feathers. The other part we have to value is the farm itself. First, we pulled parcel records from Fayette County, where Spenther Farm is located, and looked at the fair cash value of the parcels, noting the values of the land and the buildings on it. 
So the farm is located in Kentucky's Fayette County. So we turned to the county assessor's office in order to pull some public land records and get a sense for the value that way. The assessor prepares their own valuations of every parcel in the county and they take into account the land itself as well as any buildings that are on it. And I didn't realize this, but apparently the horses actually graze the actual grass that's on the land there. So although it's not a farm in the typical sense of it, the fact that it's producing crops, the soil agricultural quality is quite important because the horses are actually eating that grass. We looked at just one parcel. It was about 330 acres. That parcel itself was worth $5.9 million. So that included the land plus improvements and buildings on the land. Looking at all 15 parcels and adding up those values brought us to about $25 million. Fayette County updates its assessment every four years most recently on this farm in 2018, so these numbers may be a bit low. Normally to value land like this, we would look for comparable transactions, but horse farm sales in the area are rare. Spenthrift Farm also has another operation in Australia, which allows them to breed more horses during the Southern Hemisphere's own distinct breeding season. We estimate that the land and the horses who live there are valued at about $15 million. In total, we estimate that it's worth $400 million. Not half bad for the family farm. Thank you.